before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you guys that I still have a few items I'm selling on eBay. So if you're interested of getting a shopping bag or some poppy slices, go on eBay. The link will be in the description below. Hello guys, uh, this is me, Ethan Strachan, and uh, today on EBS Supernatural, I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, so today in this uh, video, as you can tell by the title, I am making another uh, ventriloquist dummy tutorial. Uh, if you haven't seen my uh, previous uh, videos on how to make a ventriloquist dummy, um, go and check them out. the uh, The link, the link, or the link of the of the videos, will be in the description below. Um, so today, um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, different ways on how to on how to build a ventriloquist dummy body. Um, I do have a few uh, ventriloquist dummy bodies that have very interesting uh shape and sizes so i'm going to show you i'm going to show you all the bodies i got um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do okay so uh here is uh here's my uh ventriloquist dummy bodies that i uh took off the uh the heads and the clothes just so you can see the, the material that they're made out of um so here's the uh, other one. Um, sometimes ventriloquist dummy bodies, they're actually made out of uh, wood. And I have a wooden uh, body. I do have a few ventriloquist dummy uh, bodies that are made out of wood. Uh, Eileen has a wooden body. And uh, my new uh, Millie has a wooden body. And... Uh, and... I don't know who has a wooden body. Um, oh yeah, and Eleven has a foam wooden body. Uh, so yeah, so here's the wooden body. So basically, it is a wooden structure. And here's the top piece with the little hole for the head. And two pieces over there. And, and the bottom piece. And it's easy to put together. It's just basically simple it's just made out of wood really solid wood and very not not necessarily heavy just kind of kind of both at the same time yeah looks pretty interesting and here's the other one uh this body uh belongs to this character over there um, so this body is a very light body. It's made out of uh, solid uh, foam. And you can see here, you can see the hook over there where the head the headlock goes. Uh, it's very, very light. And also whilst, while you're uh, making uh, your ventriloquist dummy, um, always make a much uh, heavier uh solid looking body just in case if your head is like if your ventriloquist dummy head is like heavy or light if it's if it's if it's a light ventriloquist dummy head then um then that's okay and if it's uh much heavier than it has a light uh body then that's when you'll have issues um, so basically, I'll show you on how to solve that problem. So this is a, this is uh this body belongs to, uh, my uh belongs to, uh eleven. Um, this body belongs to eleven, and as you can see here, it is a foam, a solid foam, uh body, and uh, and as you can see in the inside. Um, sometimes when, when I, well, when I first made uh, Eleven, um, I realized that her head was really, really heavy. And this body is very, very light material. And sometimes, um, since uh, Eleven's head is really, really, very, very, very heavy, uh, she keeps falling down. 
So on what I did here is I have put a little wooden structure on the inside. Here's the inside. So basically it's uh, very simple. It's basically, uh, it's made out of uh, foam and a wooden structure at the same time. And let's see over there. So yeah, um, it's basically a wooden structure. And when you put the, uh, the head onto the body, then, then she is uh, stationary. So she won't able to fall off or anything like that, which is uh, pretty uh, interesting. Uh, I think, um, I think, well, whilst you're making your body, try your best not to, uh, try, try your best not to mess everything up. Because if you mess everything up, then you're out of uh, luck. So remember, always, if you're making a ventriloquial dummy for the first time, always experiment on what you're doing and play around with the material and try and try your best to make it right okay and uh and i'll show you some different uh ideas so that's what i'm gonna do okay then so uh i found uh some pictures just to just to uh just so it would help you guys to understand on what i'm talking about so this is uh this is a wooden body so as you can see in this picture it's a wooden body and it's made in different pieces of wood and you can see in the inside it's like a uh, a spline type of shape it's actually like a, sp a spline on the inside and it's got padding in the inside and i'll show you a another one so this is what the uh outside looks like so basically it's a wooden body with with uh padding and and it's got arms and legs and all sorts and uh, i'll show you a uh a paper mache one uh I f um i'll find a paper mache one where is it it's, hard, it's really i think when you're searching stuff on google it's very hard to there we are here's a here is a uh paper mache one this is a leninsel body um sometimes with these ventriloquial stummy bodies um sometimes they're made out of wood and sometimes they're made out of uh, cardboard or sometimes they're made out of uh paper mache or fiberglass yeah it looks pretty interesting it's up to you if you want to make it it's up to you if you want to make your body out of uh out of uh, paper mache or wood it's up to you or you can do both okay so i just uh thought i would uh, explain you about um about one thing um if you're making a uh, ventriloquial dummy um if it's a uh, if it's a uh, a boy ventriloquial dummy then it will just be the uh the regular uh shape of the of the boy uh, body just uh, just legs and the body and the arms um, and also when I was uh, when I was making uh, female ventriloquial dummies um, I sometimes add in I sometimes add in padding to the uh, to the hips just to make the the body more female looking and uh, and you can see in the back some padding over there it's actually uh stuffed padding with material and uh and the chest looks pretty interesting the body is really well more female looking um if you're making a ventriloquial dummy if you're making a female ventriloquial dummy then maybe you can add in like padding to make the body more female looking um yeah it's very very interesting because when i was making uh, female ventriloquist dummies then that's what i usually do in my ventriloquist dummy body sometimes if i'm making a boy ventriloquist dummy 
then it's just a uh, then it's just this shape and if it's a female then it's that shape so this is the female shape and this is the boy shape so yeah very interesting so that's how so that's how uh, you make a ventriloquist stummy body and so that's all the bodies that I can show you guys um if you have any questions or answers please let me know in the comments below i really appreciate it and uh if you have any ideas um i can always do updates so i hope you enjoy this uh, video guys if you want to be if you want to be a member of my youtube channel then please subscribe to me really appreciate it and uh and remember like and subscribe and share this to your friends and check out my uh, my other videos on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.